continuing to follow the developments out of Ridgecrest and the surrounding area where the region was hit with thousands of aftershocks following the 6.4 and 7.1 earthquakes. Yeah, that's right. 23 ABC Scott Sheehan is in Ridgecrest this morning with fire officials who have been working around the clock to ensure the safety of residents in the area. Scott. All right, so Mike Danielle, the weekend, the big talk has been recovery. Now today, the big word is action, how you can get your, your recovery in place and have that moving forward. First off, financially taking the pictures of your property, getting those in to the right uh, places where they need to go, like in the police station, also those emails and phone number that we've put out there as far as quake damage at ridgecrest-ca.gov. The next part is the personal part. So making sure that you can come back to where you were last week. And the big thing that they've talked about yesterday was having PTSD after those quakes. And that's where the Red Cross comes in. I have Mimi Teller. So first off, let's talk a little bit about how everyone is more or less in that same boat and it's okay to be in the condition that they're in. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone here in Ridgecrest and the surrounding areas experienced a disaster. And there are anxieties that develop out of that. As far as the counselors come, when are they going to be here today? And then why is it so good to have someone to talk to? So our emotional staff usually shows up between 8 and 8.30. And what happens when people experience a disaster and the anxiety that follows is they tend to shut down. And then they cut themselves off from the outside world. By speaking with emotional support staff, they engage with other people and they empower themselves towards their recovery. Why is it so important to try to get back to where people were uh, a week ago as quickly as they can? Well, life needs to return to a new normal at some point. And by seeking emotional support, you get there a little quicker. Anything else that people can use you guys for as far as trying to come back to normal? Well, the shelter is here and we're open to anyone who needs a, a warm shower, hot food and an air conditioned room, a cot to sleep in and, and a community of support. We're here. All right, well, thank you for the extra information. We'll keep you updated as far as the action that's happening after those earthquakes up here in Ridgecrest. Up here in Ridgecrest, Scott Sheehan, 23ABC, connecting you.